Hey everybody, how's it going? We're doing another check-in with what's going on with Gang Cobra JFS and Jessica Queen Cobra, naked and laughing. Uh, it's not a whole lot, but it's also kind of interesting this time around. Let's get started by first checking out their uh, abandoned YouTube channels. King Cobra, seen that 98,900 subscribers. I believe that's another tick up from before. It's another hundred. He's working his way back up despite not uploading any videos or doing any live streams in over a month. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Not much update of what's going on with his life since that panel that he was on, we all remember. Head on over to Queen Cobra's channel. Uh, okay, so it's been it's been two weeks now since she did anything on here. So, hey, if it was a two week suspension, then I guess it is over. It also may not have been, and she may have just actually given up on YouTube. What was the date of this stream? April 24th. Okay, so we're uh, a good amount over that. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there was no uh, YouTube suspension. Maybe she actually just gave up. Way to go, guys. You bullied her off the platform. Her whole life, she's been getting bullied off YouTube, honestly. And that, uh, uh, and that's fine. When You know, once your whole life you've been kicked off of YouTube, you, it's no, you can't, you can't fix that. Honestly, what has she done to you? Any, uh, what? Anyway, let's uh, head on over to Josh's Facebook because he has really not posted much at all in the past couple of days. Uh, just happy Mother's Day a couple hours ago. It is Mother's Day today. I just got back from my mom's. Doesn't seem like there's much going on there. That's it from him. He's he's on vacation. He's chilling. He might be kicking back. I don't know if his PlayStation 3 is in storage with the rest of his stuff. Maybe he's been playing some, I don't know, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Does he have that one? I know he's got Call of Duty and plays zombies and a little Red Dead Redemption. That's what he likes. A little Rum Dum De Dum Dum. When Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, I really fell into the whole hype of it. I never played any of the other ones. Everyone was just so excited for it. I know everyone, a lot of people say like, oh my God, best game ever made. I couldn't get into it. I really gave it a couple of hours try and I was like, this is sad. And I like fantasy. I want like where, you know, I don't want, I don't want stuff that really happens. I want to stumble upon like the ruins of an ancient elf civilization and whatever. But I digress, I guess. Uh, we got Jessica's uh, Facebook. Let me scroll back here to what we were last at. I think right around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how to start world peace, distribute invasive plant species, uh, to unnatural locations. Way to go. That's how we get things like spotted lantern flies. Way to go. Okay. Now the next bit is, uh, pretty weird. She posted all of these pictures that I believe are of, uh, Auntie Jesse, uh, on YouTube, who is the person who did the interview with an ex mod, of Jessica's gray alien. I don't know if you recall all that. Uh, I'm going to approach this carefully because I think what she's doing is awful here. I don't know the the lore behind all of this. I really don't know much about this person, but what it looks like is pretty bad. So, uh par for her, uh you know, Jessica's antics on the internet, I suppose. I'm not I'm not even going to read the the caption that was posted with this picture but you can just zoom in and look at it. It's an image of a person in a wheelchair. The caption is odd. I don't know if like I said I don't know if she thinks she's being subtle with it. Like if she thinks like oh that could mean anything. Maybe I'm missing some kind of inside joke. I don't think so. Like I said I don't know this person, but uh it looks pretty bad. Posted another picture of them. Posted an additional picture of them. I'm not sure why. Maybe they all go together in one post or something on Instagram. Can I just like... I can't go to her Instagram. Uh, the same picture again for some reason. Posted again. Now, I will say this is uh, immediately following... Well, I mean, there's two posts between. But uh, her posting these people's profile pictures 
and saying yikes like i like as if to say she doesn't like what she's seeing as if anyone asked this is this is following that so i can only imagine it's meant to be a similar theme another picture of them another picture another picture of them <laughs> yet another picture of them this person seems to be uh trying their best to do some ballet and i don't know why jessica decided to post this whole slideshow of them another picture of them and then shared a thing of a dog rescue she must have really been upset about that uh interview with an ex mod uh you know if she uh didn't do anything wrong, then an interview with an ex mod probably wouldn't be that much of an issue, would it? If if they went on and just started making a bunch of stuff up, then uh, you could just say false and uh, not have to, you know, start trying to retaliate to people involved. Anyway, let's check out the story. Some stuff about horoscopes. Sounds like an excuse for bad behavior. I don't know. I can't help it. I'm just a Gemini. It is, it's just what I do. A screenshot from a FaceTime call with Josh. So we all know, guys, in case you didn't realize, she does talk to Josh. Look at this from 19 hours ago. Clearly, clearly they were having a FaceTime call going. They talk. They definitely talk to each other, you guys. Don't stop trying to say that he's not talking to her. She makes it very clear. See? See? Uh, I want this so bad. It's a Lego bouquet of roses. $60. Uh, we dropping a hint here? We dropping an e-begging coming in nice? Uh, no. Uh, and this one, too. A flower bouquet. Another Lego set. $48. Who's buying? Oh, good. More houses. <laughs> more houses oh look at that house wow i can only imagine all the, the unique problems this house must have wow uh okay more oh building this instead some <laughs> some some knockoff some junk <laughs> some you wish this was a lego no i don't know maybe it's good stuff i can't say what is this oh god What's this? What's going on? What was that? Did you, what, what, was the, what in the boomer trying to use a smartphone is that? What the hell happened? I, is Josh an Aries? Is that why he keeps posting stuff about Aries? Uh, some toys. The flower is done, everybody. How does it look? Looks. You know what? You know what? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's it's whatever you want it to be, Okay. <laughs> It's it's just looking uh inside out. Man behind viral blue dress confesses to strangling his wife. Okay. Uh hold on, I'll come up with something. That's one way to settle that debate. Why did she tag Shane Dawson in this? What's he going to do? Wow, Jessica. Thanks so much for letting me know about this. This will go great in my conspiracy theory videos. Do you want a million dollars? <laughs> I know you should have won the lottery all those years ago. Oh, boy. Missed a few steps last picture. It doesn't look any better. POV, you're a margarita pitcher deep, and the waitress brings your cheesy chicken rice. Throw some Bud Light Platinum on that. Couple of Doritos. Do you ever hyper fixate on a certain food and eat it over and over until you get sick of it or do you not have adhd what am i supposed to do with with these things that she's posting about adhd i do have adhd and i do eat the same food every single day in the morning at least and you know what going on a couple months here and I'm not planning on getting sick of it anytime soon it's always good every morning Eat better food. I don't know what to tell you. I get, I get up in the morning. I walk over to the kitchen. I start setting up uh, Holly's food. And I make my protein shake with almond milk and peanut butter and the wild blueberries. And three scoops of that blue raz energy powder and the vanilla protein powder. And it's good every goddamn day. I look forward to it. I get up in the morning. I'm like, you know what? I am getting out of bed and I'm going to go make that delicious shake. It really gets me going. Then I usually eat some rice and beans for lunch. Anyway, hugging Bjork, you wish. And that's it. Oh, man. You know, she definitely had some 
like there was one video where she was saying, oh, she she posted a video uh, with the fire filter, like she was on fire, uh, saying how much uh, she thinks about Josh. I, I, I forget that the stories go away after a certain amount of time. I should have just caught it. Darn. Man, I, I always forget that the stories go away. Uh, everyone's saying she peed in a box again, I guess on an Instagram live stream. But this time uh, you can see it all go down through the reflection on the window behind her. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna show that on here. You can you can go find it probably somewhere if you really want. Uh, you don't have to though. I'm The way I just said it is you're just, if you go look for it, you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's exactly what Willow just said happens. He, I, didn't, I didn't actually have to look at this for myself. Man, for someone who spends so much time in a bathroom, You'd think she would use one when it actually comes time. But you know what? Maybe it's for the best because, you know, if she actually got up and walked away and started going over to the bathroom, you just hear it from the distance. What have I done? I didn't do anything. Cat Snaps has a couple of clips from things recently. I, I, I imagine that's an edit. NAL says King Cobra is coming to Virginia. A video from Cat Snaps put my name on it i did ride the bike it works it makes some kind of noise but it works it's kind of awkward i don't think because it's a guy's bike josh might not be able to ride it so he could ride mine like because i think he'll have more josh can only drive the most masculine men's bikes knee space she's worried about knee space like she thinks he's gonna be riding it there interesting if he can fit on like if his knees aren't like up to the whatever and if so he can ride my bike that towering massive man so, and if i find something better I'll replace it. But it says Joker on it. It says Diamondback on the um, thing where you put the chaff. I don't know what it's called, but where the chain goes, it's got like the, you know. She's a bike stuff. expert. Who just chirped? It is fucked Dust up. I'm so tired of touching my shit. Because that other bike I had was a man's bike, and that probably would have been perfect for Josh. Because that bike was extremely tall. And granted, you could lower the seat, but I probably would have had to like loose because I couldn't budget. But that bike probably. <gasps> hey, if you leave the birds alone, you. Oh, is that one of her cats that she's yelling at to leave the uh, wildlife alone? Man, that's pretty interesting. You know what would help prevent that better? Yeah, birdie got away. Go away now, ref. Or is well, that like the neighbor, so. just... one of those neighborhood dogs that they apparently have? Was that one of her cats? Or... I mean, I'm smaller than Josh, and it was kind of awkward for me to ride. I don't know. Least... Maybe it was one of, one of those dogs that wander around her neighborhood, apparently. We're very... Which is also yeah, like what? I'll have to see if I can get my friend over here sometime in the daytime and like get a video of me riding it because I would. I'm gonna show Josh regardless, but I'd like to show a video my of friend me. friend to get a video of me riding it. Just, just prop up your phone. You got a tripod. You gotta watch out. Make sure one of those neighborhood dogs doesn't knock it over again. Riding but. and send it to him and see what he thinks about it. Because no, he needs something to ride to when he comes to visit me. Because there's plenty of stuff we can get to. That's you know you can get on a bike there's just there's no shot he's coming to visit her as i've said every time she mentions it uh he would not want to be out of his comfort zone i don't think and uh, if he flies out there then he has to stay with her and he can't you know just go escape to any of his like local places or whatever just completely at her mercy and like have to do whatever she wants and you know if she visits him he can just like chill at home and be like i don't feel like doing anything i'm gonna go lay in bed you know can't do that if you visit somebody else probably like she she's probably like call, calling him on the phone and be like yeah you should come you should you should come visit me sometime he's like yep that would be pretty sweet <laughs> And then she's just like, yes, he is coming. You would need a car for, but um, I don't know. He says he's six foot. I didn't measure him, but I'm five four. That's interesting because pictures of them together in the cemetery, they they seem to just be like equal height, basically. Who knows what could have been going on? Maybe, maybe she was standing on a gravestone or something. Who knows? He's taller than me, so that is a pretty significant difference. And I'm just saying because I'm five four to six foot. I. They're standing. They're standing right next to each other, even height in the pictures from the cemetery. I don't think Josh is short. A lot of people say he's not six foot. He just like doesn't know how to like actually measure his height or something, or he's fluffing it up a little bit. But I don't think he's like particularly short. So I don't. I don't think he's five four. But she's prob. 
I got the impression that she was pretty tall, just like like her like standing in the kitchen stuff, you know, like stuff in a kitchen's usually all like a pretty uniform height from kitchen to kitchen. I don't know, maybe it's just the angles or something. I I, I just got the impression she was fairly tall. I'm five four, and this bike is kind of small for me. Like I don't riff. Stop it, riff. Like if you could have seen me on it, you would know what I'm talking about. But either way, we he has a bike whenever he comes, whether it's mine or this one. So <laughs> he does. He does love to ride bike. He does ride bike, weather permitting. They say. Hopefully, you've got a nice bright green helmet for him too. He's just telling her he coming so she doesn't come back to him. He probably hasn't thought about it through that hard, but I have to imagine he's probably pacifying her if she's saying. Like, like you should come visit but yeah once everything's settled in the new place that could be pretty cool to do sometime but anyway that's all i got for this update man this this content dry spell is something else huh that combined with my weird relationship with the youtube rating system right now is really whoo am i playing more animal well tonight perhaps i just i just got a playstation emulator working on my iphone i don't know why i decided to test it with parappa the rapper worst use case rhythm games best use case probably like final fantasies all right i'll let you go fine fine i'll see you again soon all right bye bye <laughs>